marriage is ordained by God for humanity and marriage will always remain a good thing. It doesn't matter how people have turned it to be. I will always say that marriage is a good thing. It's just that the people using this facility, so to say, this institution, they are the one that is turning it to be what God did not actually create it to be. Marriage is for the good of humanity. It doesn't matter what is happening or the resultant effect of marriages in some homes. Marriage will always remain a good thing. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhoda Ebele. Today I am sharing with us what marriage is. I intend this to be a series or in part. So let's say this is part one. What marriage is. Marriage is ordained by God for humanity. Marriage is meant for the human race. In other words, talking about human race, we only have one human race, which consists of the man and the woman, the female and the male. Every other thing is outside of God's purpose. So that has been established that marriage is ordained by God. Marriage is for procreation. When we say procreation, it means how we give birth biologically. Marriage is for procreation. God intended us to fill the earth after he created Adam and Eve. And he blessed them according to the Bible and said, go and multiply. Meaning multiply your kind on the surface of the earth. So marriage also in God's plan is for procreation. For us to give birth and fill the earth with our kind. Nevertheless, there are many ways that we bring in children into this world. But I'm saying the ordained way is through the marriage covenant. That is what God wants from us. You know? But many people can do this out of wedlock. But that's not God's intention for humanity. Marriage is for companionship. Let's not forget that when God created man, the woman was not created immediately. God looked at everything he has created and he looked to say that none of this animal he created was suitable for Adam. And God said, it is not good for this man that he has created to be alone. I will make him a help mate. Hence the arrival of the woman in the Garden of Eden. So Adam was given a companion. Now, when Adam woke up from the sleep, because the Bible told us that God made him to go to sleep and he took a rib from him, which he used forming the woman for Adam. When Adam got up from that sleep, Adam exclaimed and said, hmm, this is the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. So it was Adam that actually named woman, just like he was given the prerogative to name every other thing or all the animals in the garden. So he was also given that opportunity to name the woman. Adam said, this is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called the woman. So from that day henceforth, Adam cleaved to the wife. And that companionship was established in the garden of Eden. Marriage is for oneness also. Many God's intention is to make sure that married couples are one in all they do, in action, especially when it comes to intimacy. And that is why there is so much power when intercourse is involved by the man and the woman. Even the devil knows the power of intercourse. And that is why he uses it also. There is power in intercourse between a husband and the wife. But the devil also uses that aspect negatively and it generates that synergy. He wants also, because don't forget that he is an antichrist. Anything that gives God pleasure, he will replicate it in the opposite form. God meant us to only engage in sexual activities 
when we are married. But the devil knows that it will anger God. So he decides to make people do it outside of the context with which God actually created sexual intercourse. So marriage is for oneness. Let's not also forget that the Bible uh, will have us know that for this reason, the man will leave the father, will leave the mother, and we cleave to the wife, and the twin shall become one. Do you see that? And that's why you see in weddings, they will normally say one plus one is one, which is supposed to be two, but in the case of marriage is one. One plus one equals one. It means God wants us to actually stay as one, though we are two physically, but aside of the physical, everything should be done in that oneness that's how god wants it so you can see that god's intention for marriage is beautiful it's good it's only the users it's only the people that are involved that is making it to be what god did not ordain it to be let's not forget that all god has created is good that's what the bible says as far as god is good so they are the ones turning marriage to be what god did not essentially created to be marriage is supposed to stay that way and nothing else but i will be sharing with you what marriage is not so we know where this trouble is actually coming from if god's intention for marriage is what all i have said then if we are actually following the rudiments or the principles that god has laid down for marriage to work what is not actually happening it only means that most of us are deviating from how God has planned it. Let's not forget, it's his thing. He created the institution. He actually gave us the manual, how to live in order to have a fruitful marriage. And raise him godly seed. Because that is the one that is for God in marriages. Psalms chapter number 127 says that children are the heritage of the Lord. God has vested interest in our marriages, in our relationship. It's his thing, it's his institution. So he cannot walk away from it until we learn to do it the way he wants us to do it. There really will not be peace in our marriages. I pray for us all that, that are watching, facing one battle or the other in our marriage, that the Lord will give us the wisdom to sort ourselves out in the mighty name of Jesus. Lately, we heard that the richest woman in Africa, most influential, successful, name it, her marriage just hit the rock. And this woman has been married to the lovely husband for the past 48 years, if I'm not mistaken, like I read. And you will wonder what has happened. It means the code was broken. Let's not forget, it's when we break the edge that the serpent will bite. I pray that it will not be said of them that at their old age, they left themselves. The Lord will restore that marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is that is uh, wrong or that has warranted them to go their separate way, the Lord Almighty will restore them. It's unheard of. People that have lived all their lives almost together and they have their children, they even have their grandchildren. What are they going to tell their grandchildren? You know, that takes us to the father marriage you cannot graduate is an institution that you cannot graduate so the fact that you've stayed donkey years that's not what makes marriages work is when we obey the codes or the principle laid down by god that's what makes marriage work and i pray your marriage will work in the mighty name of jesus thanks for watching if you have not subscribed please do me this favor by subscribing to my channel and God bless you. Until I come your way with another video, keep basking in the joy of the Lord.